Hello everyone and welcome to another Deviant Fun Flash review. This time we bring you Joshua Williamson's Birthright with Luke Bressa and Lucas who must be the one who does the subtitles. So this is volume 1, Homecoming. Uh, there's at least 9 trade paperbacks that I know of, I'm talking uh, from my head, uh, but yeah, at least 9. Uh, this one dates from let's see this is a skybound imprint by the way uh, an, in, an, uh, an imprint from image comics so this second printing is from uh, 2018 uh, but it was originally published uh, so blah, blah 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 it doesn't matter it's not that old of a comic uh, right, so um, what is this all about? Well, for the Rhodes family, losing their son was the most devastating thing that could ever have occurred, but it couldn't prepare them for what happened when he returned. So, uh, this is a fantasy title uh, that mixes both uh, a fantasy world with our own world um, so it all starts when daddy is playing uh, catch with with his uh, with his son one of his sons and he gets a phone call uh, because there's a surprise party waiting for the boy and he gets distracted the boy goes to fetch the ball in the woods and then during the phone call daddy starts screaming for him he doesn't reply the mother is in panic in the other side of the line so all hell breaks loose so mickey is suddenly gone disappeared without a trace police gets involved and etc uh, it so happens that dad was the last person to be seen with him and it's hard to believe that a child will just vanish in the woods so he becomes the prime suspect and that completely tears the family down because the mother herself uh, kind of believes that he did it uh, and because everyone thinks he, he the dad did it uh, it so happens that one day <clears throat> the mother's new boyfriend calls them to the police station uh, because there's a weird guy that looks a lot like Berserker <laughs> doesn't it look like the character from Berserker I think it does it, it, it got some inspiration from from this I think uh, and this young man claims to be coming from a different reality and he claims to be Mickey and blood samples are made uh, whilst the parents arrive there's still doubts that the dna will confirm that it's mickey uh, and they're still interrogating him trying to get uh, the story uh, from him and he's telling them a weird story how how he, how he lost track of his of his dad in the forest and then was uh, attacked by some foul creature and rescued by angel-like uh, creatures uh, and was taken into the custody of this huge fellow here uh, and he was uh, told that, he, that they were waiting for him that he was the hero that would save them from a dark entity that wants to conquer the whole uh, dimension and that he is for foreseen to to become uh, their liberator uh, so this story of what happened uh, between his gone miss him gone missing and after returning which by the way took only one year in earth time uh, that's why they find it so implausible that this can really be their son because it's only been one year and it's a full-grown man 
of course time time travels differently uh, back then uh, back there I mean this is what they found with him he came with a complete arsenal and he says he has come to this dimension to eliminate uh, some mages uh, some powerful entities and dark entities that are in this dimension ready to open portals to the other dimension and bring doom to our own dimension to, to earth as we know it uh, but the authors soon tell us that that's not the true story uh, we know right almost from the beginning or at least by the end of the interrogation uh, which I showed that panel before uh, in this panel you understand that he never defeated like he said he never defeated the great evil instead he is working for him because he lost and now he is paying tribute and he has some covert mission uh, so is uh, in practice is is fooling everyone including his brother his mother, his, his daddy, everyone ends up believing him and helping him escape, his father and his brother. Uh, only, her, only the mother uh, denies completely that that is her Mickey. She doesn't believe a thing. Um, so uh, amidst that, that uh, road trip, with the daddy and brother uh, because uh, Mickey says he knows he has some clues about where the first of the dark mages is and so he, he wants to track him down and hunt him um, amidst that journey we get some uh, more uh, backup story uh, sometimes because it's being asked by the father and the brother what happened and other times because it just makes sense in the narrative um, so uh, this is the guy is looking for he will try and kill him maybe he'll succeed or not but uh, the thing is he will end up at the end of the book uh, with just his brother uh, and the entity would prefer that it would be the father but to the hell with it uh, you just have to complete the mission so the boy will have to do uh, and uh, yeah it turns out that there's more to the story there's a princess in the other realm that is also part of the um, of the prophecy and the final panel uh, reveals uh, either that princess or another uh, person entering our realm and saying let's go find your daddy and she is clearly pregnant uh, but we don't know what her intentions are if she knows what daddy really is if she's one of the good guys or, or the bad guys or girls in this in this matter so there's a lot to discover in this birthright it was a very interesting read i i, I didn't manage to read it all in, all at once but I kept uh, thinking, ah, I want to read the rest, I want to know what, what happens. Uh, and it's interesting that Joshua Williamson uh, had this uh, courageous thing to tell us up front that that guy is uh, a poser. Um, he could have left it for a big surprise, a big shock uh, later on, but no, he is not afraid of revealing it because he knows he can, he can handle it and make the story compelling uh, uh, even uh, by showing us that very important piece of information that only us, the readers, know and, and that the characters don't know. So we will always feel that you are one step ahead of, uh, of the characters, but maybe you're not. Because you'll probably get surprised too. So the artwork is very good, I like it a lot. The monsters are super cool. Uh, the colors uh, are, are are good also. Uh, the paper is very good quality. So uh, it's an image comic. Uh, yeah, usually they are right. 
uh, it does even have some shining here in the in the cover where it says birthright so it's a very nice straight paperback with a very soft cover uh, and yeah so uh, if you've never read this we highly recommend you to do it uh, I can say that for myself I'm, I'm eager to read the rest and see how the story goes on